friends, Beth with Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by today. The project of the day is the cutest ugly Christmas sweater ever. And it is multifunctional. I designed this to be a gift card holder. And he's a cute little ugly Christmas sweater. Or if you wanted to put a hanger on it, could be ornaments. They're so cute. You make dozens of them and decorate your tree with ugly Christmas sweaters. So see, this one is really ugly. This is terrible. I think the colors just clash. This one was all one color, but it was a little remnant of yarn that doesn't make much sense if it doesn't have the rest of its cupcake. <laughs> the rest of its stuff, because it's just kind of blue and speckly pink, weird. I don't like it by itself. So those were fun. Those were really fun to make. This one I think is actually kind of cute. So we're going to make this guy today. And I used Karen Simply Soft. This one was white. I'm going to use, I believe it's antique gold right here. I have a little bit of this left. And then you need a little bit of green and a little bit of brown. Not too much because this is obviously quite tiny. So the cutest ugly Christmas sweater ever. So let's get started. This is actually pretty easy. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks! I think you'd be surprised how quickly this will go together to make a slip knot and chain 14. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. And now we want to make a nice finished edge. So we're going to turn our chain over, single crochet under that first bump. There's a single crochet here. Now we're going to double crochet all the way down till we have one back bump left. So these are all going to be double crochets. In those back bumps. And here is my last double crochet. So I have one chain left, one back bump left, and that one gets a single crochet. So we did a single crochet, 11 double crochets, and a single crochet. We'll chain one and turn our work. We're working back and forth, not in the round. The very first one is a single crochet. Now we're going to alternate along our double crochets of front post and back post double crochet. So the front post, go behind the post, yarn over, pull through, and finish a double crochet like normal. And then the next one is a back post double crochet. So it's almost the opposite of what we just did. We have to come in from behind and go over our post, yarn over, pull through, and finish our double crochet. Alternate those until you get to the very last stitch. And there's my last front post. And I have one stitch left right back here. This is my very last stitch is a single crochet. Chain one, turn our work. Now we want two single crochet all the way across. 13 single crochets all the way across. There's 12 and 13. Please remember that it really helps my channel when you watch the video all the way to the end. So there we made a tiny little sweater ribbing. Teeny tiny. Teeny tiny at the bottom of his sweater. Right here. So if you wanted to change colors, you can do so now. Anytime you wanted to, to make something this ugly, just start changing colors. You can make stripes everywhere. Just start changing colors. But we want to do a total of nine rows of single crochet. So that was my first one. Eight more exactly like it, and I'll meet you back here in just a moment. And there's my very last stitch on row nine of just single crochets. So what we're really working on is this side. 
It starts with back first. Isn't that crazy? So we're right here. We're going to add some sleeves. Adding the sleeves is as easy as the rest of it was. We're going to chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then single crochet back down our chain. Eight. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and number eight is in our last chain. We want to flip this up so we can get to the body of our work here. Single crochet all the way across here. 13 more. One, two, and 12, and 13. So there's a part of an arm of a sleeve over here. Now we have to try the other one. Go to the other side. So chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So there's our other sleeve. We want to single crochet eight all the way back down our chain. And there's number eight. And we'll flip this around so you're working on the main body again. Single crochet these 13 on the main body. And keep going all the way down the first arm. And there's my last stitch on that row. And that was row 13. So there's a total of 29. There's 8 and 8 plus 13. That's a total of 29 stitches. We want to do all the way across single crochet our 29 stitches for 5 rows. Right now we're starting row number 1 all the way across with 29 stitches and I will meet you after you have all five done. I'm almost done with row five all the way across of 29 stitches. There we go. So that was rows 14 through 18 and row 19. Now we're going to make the neck right here. So we chain one turn our work. I'm going to single crochet the first 11. One, two, ten, and eleven. Now we're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and skip seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in that eighth one, single crochet all the way back down, which should be 11. 10 and 11. So we have a little space right here for a neck hole. Chain one, turn your work. Single crochet the first 11. There's 10 and 11. And then in your chain space, we want to do seven single crochets just around the chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then go back down this arm with eleven single crochets, one in every stitch. And there's number eleven. So now we worked around our chain and give it a little bit of a neckline, which makes it look like this right here. That's the front. Now for rows 21 through 24, the next four rows, all it is is single crochet. Chain one, turn your work. Single crochet 29 all the way down, all the way across. 
times four rows and I will meet you back right back here as soon as you have all four of your rows done. And here I come with my last couple stitches of my fourth row of single crochets. There we go. So that was rows 1 through 24. They're done now. So now we need to start doing this side, right here. So what we're going to do is chain one, turn our work, and work the first eight in single crochets. That's our first sleeve. Six, seven, and eight. There's the sleeve. And then thirteen for the body. There's twelve and thirteen. And that should leave you eight unworked stitches for the other arm. And now these arms are even. So remember, we had to chain over here first and then catch up over here. So now we're stopping here. And we are right here on our ugly sweater right here. Okay, so we're going to chain one, turn our work, and since we are doing the Christmas tree one, it's time to get out your green. Get your green ready. And I did it the easy way. I'm going to use both my gold and green at the same time because it is supposed to be ugly, an ugly Christmas sweater. So if you have any imperfections or uneven edges, it's supposed to be this way. Chain one and turn our work. And with our main color, we're going to do the first six. One, two, three, four, five, and number six, we're going to almost finish, but not quite. Now we need to add the green. So we're going to add green. Both of them are coming through. Both the green and the gold. To finish that stitch, one green stitch. So we're going to use both colors pull through, but then drop our green. We're going to get back to it in just a second. So we just want one little stitch that has a little bit of green in it. And I will finish it off with the gold. And then six more here. So there's six on this side, one in the middle with the green, and six gold. One, two, three, four, five and six. That's the first row. Chain one, turn your work. Our green will be waiting for us here in just a second. We're almost there. Now we're going to single crochet the first five in our main color. One, two, three, four, and our fifth one, don't finish the stitch until you grab the green, my green and gold. So now we have them both. And our next stitch is green and gold. There will be three of those in a row. One, green and gold. Two, green and gold. And here's our third one, green and gold, pull up but then drop our green and bring it back toward you. And finish off that stitch with just gold. And then we have five gold single crochets all by themselves on this side. So we're working from the top down on our Christmas tree. And there's number four and number five. 
chain one turn our work and we're gonna do four before we pick up our green one two three and that number four stitch remember we're not gonna finish it until we grab our green so we got a half of a single crochet now we're gonna finish our with our green and gold And now the next five stitches are green and gold. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to drop our green before we finish that. Leave it to the back. Always leave it on the same side. Now we can finish that stitch with our gold and do four four single crochets in gold only. One, two, three, and four. Chain one, turn our work again. Now I bet you guessed it. Work the first three single crochet. One, two, and before we finish the third one, we need to grab our green and finish that stitch. And then the next seven stitches are green and gold. One, two, oopsie, three, four, five. six and seven but drop the green before you finish drop the green before you finish the gold and pull it to the front here keep everything on the same side and now we want to finish that stitch with gold and then continue on gold only body main body color only for three stitches three single crochets to the end chain one turn our work we're on row 30 already we're almost done first two are single crochets but remember before you finish this last one we have to grab our green again and now the next nine are single crochets of green and gold one two and here's number nine but before we finish that stitch, we drop the green. Push it back to the side that still has the tail. And finish that stitch with gold only. And the last two stitches of this row are gold only. And that was row 30, row 31, chain one, turn your work. We want to do a gold only in the first stitch, but before we finish it, grab our green, pick up the green again, and finish that stitch. And then the next 11 will all be green and gold. One, two, and there's number 10, and number 11, we want to drop our green before we finish the stitch and finish with just gold like that and our very last stitch is gold only so there's our Christmas tree just like this isn't that cute we're done with green so we can snip him off if you want and I'll get a tiny little bit of brown just a tiny bit because we're just right in here a teeny tiny bit of brown have that ready we're going to chain one and turn our work again we're going to do the first five in gold only one two three four and five 
before we finish that stitch we want to add a little bit of brown. We only need four stitches with brown so this will not take very much at all. Major stash buster. I love it. Alright so now we're going to add this on. So we're using both of them at the same time, the gold and the brown. And I'll finish off that stitch with both colors. The next three are going to be gold and brown. One, two, and there's the third one. We're going to drop the brown just like we did with the green every time on our last stitch and finish with just gold. And now the next five are gold only. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain one, turn our work and do the exact same thing again. Five golds, three with the brown, and five gold after that. So there's our first one, two, three, four, pick up the brown. Before we finish our fifth stitch. Next three are brown and gold. One, two, and before we finish this stitch, drop the brown. Finish the stitch with the gold only. And then five single crochets of gold only to the end. You see how we did that? We worked the triangle. We worked it this way. Started small and got big because I like this part of the neck. So I wrote them backwards here. All right, now we're done with brown. Officially already done with the brown. So you can snip that one off. Snip. Chain one. Turn your work and do one full row of single crochets in our gold. all 13 all the way across and there's number 13 and that was technically row 34 we only have two left chain one turn your work single crochet in the first stitch the next 11 are all double crochets and here's number 11 and the last stitch is just a single crochet. So the single, 11 doubles, and then a single. Chain one, turn our work, and our first stitch is going to be a single crochet. And now for ribbing again, like we did it the first time, we're going to alternate, starting with back post this time. So go around the post from the behind through the front, there's a back post, pull through and finish your double crochet. Now it's a front post, so go in front like that, double crochet, in from behind and around and finish your double crochet. From the front, double crochet. And our last back post, double crochet. And then our very last stitch, number 13 of the whole row, is a single crochet. And we're done. All right, now what you want to do is our sweater is done, but it doesn't look like a sweater yet. It looks like not a sweater. But these are the sleeves, and this is the body, this is the front, and this is the back. So decide which side you like best, which one you want to have show, and keep that one to the inside and fold this in half. So remember, the picture that you like, the one that you like best is on the inside, inside, inside. That part's important. All right, so we're folded in half. I'm going to slip stitch. You could use a needle if you wanted to, but I'm just going to slip stitch and then the bottom of the sleeve. 
going through both sides as evenly as you can. And stitch through both sides. Remember it's supposed to be ugly so perfection and this particular part is not important because it's an ugly Christmas sweater. So even though this is adorable because it's tiny it's still supposed to be an ugly Christmas sweater. So don't worry about perfect edges and perfect seams this time. So we're just slip stitching. Let's make sure your arm will match up and it's going to. This is perfect. Corner. Get a slip stitch going there. And then go down my arm. And slip stitch as evenly as you can. Because you want to meet up at the end, of course. And this is my last stitch, and my edges matched up. That was nice. And then just to make sure that it stays nice and closed, I finish off right now. Get that finished off nice and tight. So there's one side. Now we want to go to the other side and do the exact same thing. But now it's inside out. So we have to turn it the other way. Because remember we put the favorite part, the one part you wanted to show is on the inside, so now we need to turn him inside out. There, now we're right side out. So anything that's showing, like okay, the side that I picked only has one that's showing, so I'm just going to grab the screen tail and pull it through. All you need to do is finish off your ends and snip off any of these extra little remnants of these tails. Weave in these ends, hide those ends, and you are done. Bam. Gift card, holder, or an ornament. So adorable. And if you want to, you can put a little star on top. Just like I did here. This is just embroidery, however you wanted to make it look. I can't do that on this one because my gold... I don't think this orange, my gold over here, isn't going to show up on my gold sweater. I wish I had a tiny bell. That would be super cute. A tiny bell would right there would be awesome. I have to go dig through my stuff and see if I have a tiny bell. Maybe I will. But there you go. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. I have some fun stuff coming up before the holidays even end. Thanks. Bye.